Rain, rain, go away. F you, also. Hi, friends. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's, it's the day we've all been waiting for. It's here. Did you pre-order it? Did you get it yet? Albert Knobs is out on Blu-ray. The old-timey movie where Glenn Close plays an old-timey man on Blu-ray. That's not exciting at all. But this is Justin Halpern, the man behind Shit My Dad Says, is here. He has a brand new book out called I Suck at Girls. It's a memoir of his dating life. I read it. It's hilarious. And I'm going to chat with him, and we're taking your questions, too. So put them in the comments or tweet me at the Beth Hoyt with your thoughts and your questions for Justin. First, though, we made a little video in honor of Mr. Halpern being here. He shares with the world all the shit his dad says. So we thought we'd take a look inward and do some sharing of our own. So check it out. This is Shit My Damn Channel Says. What's your favorite cuss word? Well... I'm so sorry. What? And that's why I think this show needs an asshole living in the garbage. We're not interested. Is that a limb? Look at the beautiful colors. Yucky, yucky, yeah. <laughs> hey man, y'all gonna get a lap dance. All the shit is my nails, I'll be. I am my hair, my hair, so shit is my nails. Me and Carrie, we got a son now through sex. Got a special lunch in store for all you. Bake your cookie. Bake. You would have sex with Brad before you let me enter you as your first? Yes. Everyone knows you do blow in the bathroom, Steve. What? Just call it a day. What's your vagina look like? No, no, no! Did you just call me a bitch? Yeah, I did, pussy. Language, son. I'm a priest for Christ's sake! Oh my god! You people! Let me explain. It's my channel, damn it. Hello, I'm here with our very special guest today, Justin Halpern. Hi. He started the totally now famous Shit My Dad Says Twitter account, and then he wrote a book based on it, and then wrote a TV show, and hung out with William Shatner for a while. We're going to talk to him about his new book, I Suck at Girls, which is out today. Congratulations, Justin, and welcome, and hi back. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. Thank you for being here. We're really excited. So um, can you tell us why you suck at girls? Why do you think you suck at girls? Well, hopefully I don't suck anymore because I'm married. <laughs> Spoiler um, alert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just always had a knack for saying the wrong thing at the wrong time or yeah. doing the wrong thing. I have that too, but I rule at girls. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of, a lot of friends. <laughs> um, this isn't about me, though. So one of my favorite parts in this... I, oh, speaking of your wife, though, Amanda, she's the, she's the shit. She's like, she has the, some really good qualities that your dad has of, like, the point-blank bluntness. Yeah, yeah, she definitely rides that line between being really cool and like a total bitch. Oh yeah? <laughs> She's on the cool side. Yeah. I think it's a fine line. I, I think... see what you mean about the saying the wrong thing. Yeah, I think yeah. you're really, really cool, <laughs> then oh my that. god, all of a sudden you're an asshole. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're like, stay close to this line though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what she does. It's awesome. I love that the part when she says, like, are we dating or are we not? She, that's a lesson for everyone under 30 to just cut to it and she just... I know, otherwise it's awkward and you start doing those like weird things where you don't know if you should call somebody on a Friday night. And yeah, and you spend years. That could have been years. If she well, hadn't done that. We, would, we wouldn't be married today. Oh my gosh. No, we'd be married. And your book would be like, it would, it would have like the negative, it'd be like, I suck at girls. Yeah, no. it would have a downwards question mark. Yeah. I suck at girls. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Downward question mark. Another favorite part in here is this chapter. If maybe you could describe to the audience, because this comes out today. I, this is, so I, I feel so privileged that I knew I was in here. <laughs> but I know about this this incident of you finding porn as a child. Can I did. You, like, recap? I, I um, was at my little league uh, baseball field. There was a canyon in the back that I was scared to go into. And one day we went in there. And we found a ton of porn, and we're like looking around. Then all of a sudden, as you do, as you do. Uh, and all of a sudden, two homeless guys just start chasing us. And so we ran through our Little League practice with two homeless guys chasing us, and then our coach behind them. Carrying all the We were carrying all the porn. You took your loot. And then I just broke right, and I ran a mile home. Wow. Yeah, in cleats and stuff. It was gnarly. And kept the loot. I buried it in my backyard. And then in the middle of the night, I dug it up, and my dad caught me. Because you felt shame? 
No, because I wanted to see it. Oh, right. Well, yes. <laughs> I felt no shame. But, I but still when you, when you buried it, yeah, I guess that was the safest place. Okay. Yeah, because it's like, it was all loose pages. So it was like, I couldn't shove it under my mattress or anything. I guess I could have. I wasn't that smart. Was the whole thing that you found in the, was it all loose pages? It was all loose pages. It was like someone's like selects. Like favorites? Yeah. It was. It was like back, it was before the internet. It was like bookmarks. So now that maybe you've seen some full porn publications, do you think that he was like, had a specific... His were his favorites something that anyone would think were favorites, or was it like wow? I guess he's you know that's the bad. Yeah. <laughs> I could get into it, <laughs> but anyway, your dad's reaction to that I think is so great. And just like, did he teach you to have no shame early on, and that's why you're able to like have a tell-all memoir like this and just really be open about stuff? Yeah, I mean, the most embarrassed I ever am is when my dad catches me doing something. So, so it's not oh. as embarrassing to share something with everyone else. So you get all that out, and then you yeah. can tell the no whole world. No one's gonna things. shame me more than my father will. That's good. Um, but he still will, a lot, so. Yeah, and yeah. currently does. Right. Yeah. Okay, we have a question from Twitter, because thanks you guys for sending in your questions, and I have some, but so do you. What's the first Twitter question is from, um, Bridgeter. Bridgeter. <laughs> Justin, did your dad suck at girls? No, he did not suck at girls. He is the most confident guy in the entire world, and even though he looks like a Muppet, he always, according to everyone else, got laid. Really? So I, I just picture your dad looks like William Shatner. Do you, do you find that weird that a lot of people think that when they when you, they hear about your dad, they just picture William Shatner? Does yeah. Does that seem weird, do you know? It is weird, because he looks nothing like William. He looks like Eugene Levy, kind of. Mm. Now we can all picture Eugene Levy. Right. Okay, another Twitter question is from Connor Kelly. Ask him if people, so Justin, do people like your dad? Are they are they a dying breed? Will any of us be grizzled old men, or will are we just too coddled? Uh, I think they are kind of a dying breed. I mean, he's really a grizzled guy who doesn't give a shit about anything. And I think that now we're all sort of so sensitive to things. And some, for some, you know, that's good for a lot of people. Yeah. But I just think that that's, we're moving away from that. Maybe the pendulum will swing back. Or something. You should, well, if it's drying out, you should capture it and put it in like a new medium technology like Twitter. Right. You should capture it and put it in Twitter. It'll, it'll never work. I and then it. let it live there. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you did it. I think you, you won Twitter. <laughs> I think you won Twitter. We have one more tweet, and that is from Don Cald. He wants to know, what do you think about the Shit People Say videos? Well, yeah. some of them are like super racist. It's like, shit Asian people say, and then it's a white person doing like a really racist Asian accent. <laughs> Right. So I don't think those are so funny. I think the first one, the shit girls say one, like I, I could get the humor in that, but like then it just became like the most base stereotypical <laughs> stuff you, you could put. You right. Know? So I'm not a huge fan. Yeah. So put some thoughts into it, guys. Don't do it unless <laughs> it's a funny, good thing. Yeah, be more funny. Yeah, be more funny and not with <sighs> the racists. Gosh, thank you so much for being here, Justin. Thanks for having keep me. Keep talking all day long. But um, we have another father-son team we're gonna put on the screen. And if this boy on this video were to grow up and write a book about his dad, it would be called This Shit's Effed Up. <laughs> it's Daddy Knows Best. Watch it. Jackson, look at Daddy. Here comes the shark. Ooh, it's gonna be so scary. Oh, I'm getting nothing here. You're gonna get single digit views with this thing. Can you act a little happy? This is our dream. These are dangerous, dangerous mammals. Damn it. You're a big boy. No, no, Jackson, don't look him in the eyes, all right? It's a sign of aggression. Okay, here comes the shark. Well, what's going on? Why is there a dog crate in our living room? Why is he in the cage? What? Wait, one question at a time. First of all, I want to tell you how beautiful you look. Thank in this you. Room. Well, yeah, what's going on? Can you answer the question? Why is he in the cage? You mean this? Oh yeah, no, yeah, this huge thing in our living room. Oh, this huh? is uh, this is what I call some good old-fashioned discipline, just like my dad used to do to me. Your father huh? used to put you in a in a dog crate. When I needed it, I was a rambunctious kid. Wow, really? Mm hmm. And this helped me out. Wow, look, look at you now. Yeah, look, look how normal out. I am. What is this? That's what not even. This? That's like a oh, piece no? of paper. With but some... it's it's a receipt for a harpoon. What do you need a harpoon for? See? I'm thinking about you know. Spicing things up in the boudoir. Oh, really? Oh, we're gonna get dirty with a harpoon, right? Huh? Things a little dirty, a little nasty. Well, It'll be bloody. So you're gonna, okay. I'm not an idiot, Steve. Okay, I get it. I get what this is. This is like your YouTube thing. You stop it right there. You stop it. Yeah. I promised you, no more YouTube. No, I told, I completely trust you. I do. I just, I'm just gonna take a look. That's not even your oh, business. Oh, look at this. 
confirmation to go swimming with sharks for Jackson and for Steve. You're crazy, he's a child. Jackson could be the first child to swim with great whites. Do you understand? He will be a YouTube sensation. No, no, no my it's kid's swimming with a shark because of your like YouTube fantasy. No, it's, no, not it's got happen. nothing to do with me, all right? Uh -huh. I do everything I do in life for my son. Uh -huh. Every morning we wake up, and we watch Matt Lauer on Good Morning America. It's our favorite show. And he has those kids that come on and they're on YouTube. And it just breaks Jack's little heart. He wants to be famous. He's talented. He can do things. Those kids aren't actors. Those are just moments they just oh, have and the parents just catch it. Stop being so damn naive, babe, all right? I can't believe I let you talk me to anal. Listen to me. Charlie, that one you love. The, the one with the kid. I, uh, I bit my finger. Yeah. I love that video. You know what? What they don't tell you about that one is that guy is a 31-year-old man with testicles. Oh, okay. Fully yeah, grown. No. He's Man! Not. No, he's, he's not. He's a dwarf. He's got no, Gary he's Coleman's not. disease. No, he's not. Yes. Steve, you put my kid in the shark tank again? I'm leaving you. Oh, is that a threat? Come on. He Come likes on. it in there. No, no, he doesn't. Come he on. He did. Let's go. I will. It's a shark cage, if you knew anything. Oh, it's hey, honey, tank. it looks like you have a little bit of jizz. Just right on your nose. You want to just It's not jizz, I'm at yeah. zinc. I'm Dr. Fred Wilson, and I'm here to tell you about MedFax, a new app that diagnoses all of your medical symptoms in just a matter of seconds. All you have to do is open the app, load the page, and then stick it up your butt. Oh, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. That is cool. But what if your throat hurts? Guys, I got it, I got it. Let's just put this online. People will love it. This cat loves cheeseburgers. Everyone knows that you blow in the bathroom, Steve. Just call it a day. And that's why Daddy doesn't go to Tijuana anymore, because VD is a real thing, buddy. You have no idea how much penicillin I had to take to get rid of that. You taking this all in, or...? That's it for today's show. Thank you so much to Dustin Halpern for being here. Go buy his book, I Suck at Girls, is out today. It will make you laugh and think and love and feel. All those things. Yep. And it'll make you look at things across the page. Have you, do you guys remember how to do that? <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern for our big weekly show with new videos and Steve Renazizi and a brand new segment with comedy legend Gilbert Gottfried. It's going to be oh, awesome. on wow. tomorrow. And don't forget about our playlists. From now on, we'll be uploading the show in super high quality as a playlist. It comes on the following day at 12 p.m. Eastern. So if you miss the show live and you want to watch it, check it out the next day at noon. That's cool. Is that confusing? Okay, go, go dig out your rollerblades.